गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स एंड लिसनर्स दिस इज मनन राहुल फ्रॉम भारत टीवी एंड वी हैव अवर गेस्ट टुडे नीरज अंतान हु इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन अमेरिकन स्टेट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव एंड यंगेस्ट इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वेलकम नीरज बाय थैंक यू मनन फॉर हैविंग मी थैंक यू सर थैंक्स फॉर योर टाइम अप्रिशिएट सर फॉर बीइंग अ शॉर्ट वॉच यू जस्ट जॉइन Uh, today we would like to know something about the bangladesh atrocities that has happened to indian community there i can't say uh, indian hindu community but it has happened to christians also jewish also those who are minorities they all are having this kind of problem in bangladesh so what can we do to help the hindus in bangladesh from here from usa well first manan thank you for having me and very proud to be the first hindu and indian american state senator in ohio history the youngest in the country uh and look what is happening uh in bangladesh right now uh, i think you said it right is an atrocity uh it should be universally condemned we're starting to see federal officials condemn it i have condemned it i was the first elected official in the country to to do so uh but look uh clearly uh Sheikh Hasina's government has been overthrown and now there is a interim government led by Mohammed Yunus in place and the government and the military in Bangladesh need to step up and to stop uh the attacks on Hindus the attacks on Hindu homes the attacks on Hindu mandirs and yes we've seen to a lesser degree but still attacks on Christians and and Buddhists too uh and it is incumbent upon the government uh Mohammed Yunus's government and his military now uh to stop these atrocities it must be stopped uh and what can we do look you know our government the US government has a role to play here uh number 1 in pressuring uh the Yunus government now to stop these atrocities and then also in in rallying uh the world and other global leaders to pressure Mohammed Yunus and his government to put a stop to his atrocities be that at the UN or through other international forums uh you know the US has a role in leading this uh but unfortunately we have not seen uh Secretary Blinken or President Biden or Vice President Harris do anything of that accord but you know it's our job it's incumbent upon us to pressure our leaders to then put pressure on the Yunus government to to uh, step in here so that was my second question that what has been official stance of government but as you said yeah unfortunately is that how come government didn't say us government is not uttering a single word on it yeah unfortunately you know secretary of state anthony blinken you know he put out a statement in regards to mohammed yunus and the interim government but that statement did not include anything regarding the protection of the hindu minority or christian minority in bangladesh we have not seen president biden or vice president harris speak on this topic we are starting to see some members of congress who have received pressure from their hindu american constituencies speak up and that's a start but we need to get them to put more pressure on the administration to you know put pressure then on the unis government do you see anything that is preventing to them to say something for the atrocities like this Well look I mean this is my personal view and I'm obviously a Republican and I don't support the Democratic administration but unfortunately uh we see uh the Democrats uh, time and time again uh kowtow to uh Islamists and uh you know we've seen Islamists in Bangladesh and around the world uh try to deny what is happening in Bangladesh try to deny that there are attacks occurring and that have occurred uh and we see that um you know then they're if they do acknowledge that they exist they're saying that these are only revenge attacks that Hindus are to blame for these attacks which is factually inaccurate and so uh unfortunately i do think that you know many democrats are still uh kowtowing with islamists and and you know this is a a prime example of that so what steps should be taken by international bodies including un you know we didn't see much more from the un also coming up regarding this 
there was only two statements so far that they have given, and that's it. Yeah, look, there, there is, there is pressure, a pressure campaign that can be mounted on the Eunice government to to stop these atrocities, to ensure that minorities are being protected, the Hindu minorities being protected in Bangladesh. Uh, and then there are sort of substantive things, right? We can place sanctions on uh, the government of Bangladesh and its leader, financial sanctions to tie up their finances worldwide. We can put economic sanctions and trade sanctions on uh, Bangladesh. We can uh, have uh, government aid, any, any aid that the U.S. or other countries give the Bangladesh can be conditional upon uh, actions they are taking to stop atrocities. And so these things can happen. Uh, but, you know, we it is our job to pressure our leaders to have them do that or to, you know, at least put this pressure campaign on to the UNIS government. So you mean to say that we should write an email or have a uh, protest or something like that to make the pressure? Yeah, I think, you know, writing and calling and emailing and tweeting and Facebook commenting and all of that to members of Congress and to the Biden administration is what is necessary. Uh, you know, and, and I think protests are are good because they get into the media and, you know, elected leaders read the media like everybody else. Uh, and so all of these things, you know, should happen. And so, you know, if you want to do something, if you want to act, you know, calling or writing your federal member of Congress, your federal senator uh, is the best thing you can do. And to ask them to send a letter to Anthony Blinken, the secretary of state, that Anthony Blinken needs to, you know, publish uh, a condemnation of these attacks, number one, and number two, to call Mohammed Yunus and to tell him that U.S. support for his government is conditional upon him acting uh, to stop these atrocities. And do you think that uh, this government will do it? They didn't have a single statement so far. Government has gone. So much of uh, violence happened. In fact, there is a violence from 2001 that is happening continuously every year. One of the incidents that was Bola, you know, in 2001, that was the biggest one that happened. And I think the atrocity that has happened here right now, before 15 days, that is the worst so ever far in the history of the Bangladesh. Unfortunately, I don't have high confidence. Sorry to interrupt you. No, that's okay. So I, I said, unfortunately, I don't have high confidence in the Biden administration, but what we can do is to continue mounting uh, this pressure campaign on them. Uh, and, and hopefully our congressional leaders can do that as well. Yeah, congressional leaders can do that, right? If we cannot count on the Biden government. Yeah, you saw Chuck Schumer, who's the Democratic leader in the Senate. He put out what I thought was a decent statement uh, in regards to this. And, you know, I think that that shows maybe a glimmer of, of hope that, you know, maybe a Democratic administration would do something. Don't you think that being a Kamala Harris keeps saying that uh, she is an Indian origin woman, she should do something? Well, I think anybody of any origin should do something. But yes, you would think that, you know, her having a Hindu mother, her growing up in uh, what I believe to be a Hindu household, that she would have perhaps a little more sympathy for the atrocities that Hindus are facing in Bangladesh. We have not seen that from her, uh, which I think is, is very unfortunate. When election comes, everybody keep asking on the Hindu votes, but nobody comes and support us. That's a shame, right? Uh, I what, totally agree. The Hindu community in Bangladesh has faced significant atrocities. What role do you see in global Hindu community, especially Hindu diaspora in the United States, playing addressing this crisis? You already said that uh, tweeting, emailing, these are all the comments. Can we something think out of the box? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Seva International is putting together fundraising for aid. Uh, and so, you know, that is another thing that people can do is the charitable route. But yeah, look, the best thing that, you know, can be done is to pressure our federal members of Congress to then, 
you know, pressure the Biden administration uh, to then in turn, you know, get the Yunus government to, to act in the interests of the Hindu minority in Bangladesh. Looking ahead, what do you believe needs to be done to prevent these kind of atrocities in the future? Well, look, in the end, the Yunus government and, and whatever the permanent government that ends up being in Bangladesh and the, the military there, you know, need to protect uh, their Hindu and, and Christian minorities. That is, without a doubt, if, if we allow them to be involved in the global economy, in global trade, in uh, global affairs, uh, it must be conditional upon their government protecting the Hindu minority. The problem that we see is if if Shamat Islami, which is the radical Islamist party, a terrorist party, in my opinion, if they take power, which unfortunately is a potentiality in the Muslim majority country of Bangladesh, uh, this could become uh, a, a very, very bad issue. And we know if they take power, they're not going to listen to the United States no matter what. And so at that point, we would have to sanction them. And so, you know, this is not a short term problem, but this is, you know, very much a long term problem. Is there any ongoing diplomatic dialogues and pressure is building up for Bangladesh from US uh, internally? Not, not that I know of, not that I know of, unfortunately. Nothing, right? So basically, India should understand that U.S. government is not supporting them on these kind of issues. Well, this isn't, I mean, understanding that the Indian government, you know, through CAA can be helpful, but this is a, a Hindu issue, right? Uh, and so, you know, I think it's in the United States, um, it, you know, sent aid to Gaza. I don't know why, but they sent aid to Gaza. You know, where are they? What is the Biden administration doing for Hindus in Bangladesh? That is a question that they are failing to answer. Yesterday only I tweeted that, that people, those who are keep saying about the Palestinians and Gaza and stuff like that, where are they for the Hindus today, right? Nobody, none of the any NGOs spoke about it. There are no statement, nothing. It's That's exactly right. And this is happening all over the place. Wherever the Hindus are there, whether you see in the Pakistan, Yesterday, only one incident happened, right? It's all over the news right now. A girl was kidnapped and raped. Same thing is happening in Bangladesh. And those are only the ones that we see, right? Yep. Uh, so many more are happening. Any last words, sir? No, thank you and happy to be of help. Thank you.